I did this forever ago. I'll show a little clip of my first video and it did really well. You guys really enjoyed it. I've been switching back and forth between my natural hair and a wig and the wig, it has a lot of that blonde through it. So I pull out a couple of like my very front pieces so it kind of disguises the very front of the wig a little bit better. But the problem is my natural hair is darker than the wig so you end up seeing like a color difference anyway. I'm hoping by adding some highlight to my hair, I won't be bleaching it all and damaging everything. However, I'll be able to add in a lot of that lightness that I'm looking for, specifically toward the front of my hair, if that makes any sense. Anywho, this is the box that I got. Uh, there was only like two choices. I went to Walmart. Here's what we're looking at. Stop focusing on my face. Here's what we're looking at for the color change. So I'm down here. So again, I'm not expecting anything like this, but I just wanna add some blonde highlight throughout. All right, so let's crack into the box. Again, we've done this before, so I have an idea of what's in here. But if you've never added highlights into your hair before, I'm gonna go over this step by step. We have the Moisturizing Violet Shampoo, along with an anti-brass matching conditioner. Step number two is the highlighting powder. And step number one comes in a plastic twist off cap bottle. We also have a little plastic mixing container. And my favorite part, the little bonnet. <laughs> You're going to need this little tool. It has two hooks on either side and it also comes with a little spatula to help us mix our bleach. At this point, I don't need instructions. I'm a professional. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm dead. No, no, we're, we're gonna read this. We're gonna make sure we do it right. First, we're gonna protect our hands and our clothing, so make sure you change into something that you don't mind getting ruined. So this is currently my hair color. I haven't dyed it except to maintain gray hair, and I use box dye when I do that, um, but I don't go over my entire head. I just keep the bleach on the new growth. But I've stuck with the solid brown for so long, I just felt like I needed a little change. Oops, I forgot to put on the bonnet first. I can't really do that with these gloves, so let's get this out. The worst part about tonight in particular is that my daughter was playing in her room and so I didn't want to tell her necessarily what I was doing because I didn't want her to come in and see because I was really embarrassed. But she ended up coming in anyways to ask me a question. Um, okay. <laughs> so when I'm going to place the bonnet on my head, I want my hair to be as flat as possible, but when I'm tucking it behind my ear, I'm kind of flattening it down first and then very gently just moving it right behind the ear. I'm not really, I'm not trying to move the hair or flip the hair over itself. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's slap this on. Oh, I could not be cuter. Are you serious? <laughs> I struggled with this the first video too. These damn nails make it a little difficult to tie this up, but do your best. Remember that little hook tool I talked about? Here is where you're gonna decide whether you want to use the larger hook or the smaller hook. It's more so a matter of how thick you want the highlighted sections to be. But from past experience, I tried, the very first time I did this video, I tried going in with the smaller hook and it was so difficult to pull hair out. Maybe it was just a combination of it being my first time doing something like this and the size of the hook, I'm not sure, but I struggled to the point of where I just ended up switching to the larger hook, uh, but it worked out. My hair turned out awesome. So I'm gonna be using the larger side again today. So once you decided what size hook you're going to use, it is time to start pulling the hair out. This takes patience. Put on a good movie, get a snack, really take your time doing this because if you don't, you might end up with sporadic highlights all over your hair and it might just look weird and you might have to go in again. That happened to me. I did a lot of the front of my hair and not so much in the back. And so I had to go back to the store. We'll talk about that later in the video. I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Again, learn from my mistake and take your time pulling out your hair. It's harder than it looks. Take your time and don't get frustrated. Eventually you'll end up looking like Schmeagol from Lord of the Rings and it's fantastic. Finally, once you're satisfied with as much hair as you pulled out, take a paddle brush and brush all that hair out. You can see this is my first round and in the back, I didn't pull out as much and that was my mistake. We'll go back in a second time tomorrow. Even here, I'm trying to pull out a couple more pieces in the front and when you brush your hair like this, you can feel your hair getting tugged and it just makes sure that the bonnet is secure to your 
your roots. Now we can put back on the gloves. We're gonna open up this powder, and when you do so, just be really careful not to inhale it. You are working with chemicals and bleach. It's not good for you. Don't do it. Pour all of the contents into the plastic container. Again, it is a little bit cloudy as you're pouring, so just try to keep it away from your face, not directly under your nostrils when you're pouring. Once all the powder is in, then take your step one, pour that right in, and then use that little disposable plastic spatula and give that all a really good mix. Once our mix is ready to go, we're just going to start applying it to the hair. I tied back the hair that we are not dyeing so it doesn't get mixed in by mistake. I'm starting on my ends with the idea that my roots are gonna take on the color a little bit faster, so I'm trying here, okay? We're trying to make something beautiful. One more mistake. I made a lot of mistakes, okay? But it's only in your favor. Don't tangle up your hair. I didn't consider that when you're putting on top of your head, try not to like tangle up your hair. I just tried to put it in a neat little bun, but when I went to go remove the bonnet, your hair is sliding through this bonnet. You don't want it to be tangled. Take my word for it, it hurt. Try to keep your hair, uh, even when you're applying the bleach, try not to like, you know, sm can you hear that? Do that with your fingers. You know what I mean? Tangle up your hair, make it really knotty, try to keep it as smooth as possible. I promise you, you'll thank yourself later when you're taking off this bonnet. There is a little plastic bag that comes with this kit and it is for after you dye your hair, we are going to secure it into this plastic bag. As soon as I find the goddamn opening to this bag, give me a minute. I'm not sure. Can somebody help me? No, for real, for like a second. What on? This bag is making me feel real stupid right now. I, oh, we got it, we got it. <laughs> We're just gonna slap that right on our head and then I'm gonna leave this on. I checked, I think about every 10 minutes or so. Uh, I didn't want my hair falling off, but I also didn't want to prematurely take off the cap and not have the highlights be as light as I wanted it to. So about every 10 minutes or so, I think I left it on for about a total of 20 minutes before I wash it out. This test strand you can see is already not light enough, so we're gonna leave it on for a little bit longer. I already knew this video was gonna take at least two days because there is no way. It's already almost 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna let my hair dry, style it tomorrow, bring you guys back and show you how it came out. However, let's take a little look at what's going on here. I am terrified of my ends right now. Okay, I thought hair was coming off and I almost had a heart attack. Um, I don't know, I don't know if it's because I have to dye my roots for like grays, but the, oh my gosh, the ends are super light. I'm just hoping that they match the roots. So I am going to <laughs> go rinse this off and I will bring you guys back tomorrow. Again, once it's dry and colored. And we will see how it came out for us. Stop everything. I have to experience this with you guys. This is like spaghetti. Okay. I won't let it like fall in my eyes. It's not hurting. But I am having to give it a little bit. Ow. Okay, that one hurt. Of a tug. Oh my gosh. It looks like angel hair pasta. <laughs> I mean, that's going to make a great thumbnail, but... Oh my, like this isn't straw, is it? Oh my gosh. I don't think it's all the same color either. <gasps> oh my gosh. I just got out of the shower and I think, but too, it kind of looks more like a coppery than like a blonde, but it might work. It might work out. It's really hard to tell right now with my hair being wet and all. So we'll know tomorrow if I need to maybe go over some of the areas with some more bleach. Um, but I'm going to give my poor hair a mask because it did not like that very much. I have a soothing, a smoothing, smoothing deep conditioner. Um, or a repairing deep conditioner, which I think, I think we need a little bit of repair. I'm not even gonna use the whole bit here. I don't have extensions in, so I don't have as much hair to work with. So even using like half of the pack or so, but I'm just literally, I'm just going to drown my hair right now in a good hair mask. I don't think I'm gonna let this sit in my hair all night. 
but probably a good hour while I watch a little bit of TV before bed. And then tomorrow, we'll figure out if this did anything that drastic or not. Or if it's horrible and I have to dye my whole head again in one color. <laughs> it's been like a week since I last filmed that video. <laughs> Okay, in my defense, I've been extremely busy. I have been filming every day. I've been posting makeup videos every single day. And I'll be honest, it's been a challenge. I knew I still needed to come back and show you guys the results. However, I'm kind of glad that I didn't come back right away. I've got to do this again. Because when it first, when I first did it, I, I'm in love. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again. Oh, this plant. Hi. And the pulling of the hair after a while made your hair head a little bit sore. And I did not film this, but I didn't feel like I put in enough highlights. So the next day, I ended up going back to the store, buying another box. The whole process cost me under $15, and it would have cost me less had I just pulled more hair through. So I think taking your time and really pulling out a lot of strands of hair is definitely beneficial and will give you a better look overall. I was using the shampoo and conditioner that came with the package to help take out any brassiness. Now, I, I've never been a blonde, so I'm not entirely sure on how to care for fair hair. However, naturally, I get red in my hair anyway, so I'm gonna have to get the correct product for the highlight to maintain the highlight. And when I do it again, I just want to really, again, take my time and pull a lot of hair through the bonnet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part two, I guess, to the highlighting your hair at home. For something that you can do at home that's so affordable, I had great results. I don't know if you'll have great results. I'm hoping you'll have great results. I think you'll have great results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, I have a second channel going on right now. It is sort of 18 plus, not everything. There are age restricted videos because I do pursue lingerie and like swimwear modeling, that kind of stuff. So if that's interests you, that is on my second channel. If not, cool to hang out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead leave a thumbs up also if you want to consider subscribing i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye